Hello, my people. How art thou? How's it going, guys? I don't know if I trust OBS right now. Why am I hearing unusual musics? What is going on here? Do you hear that? I'm going to get... Oh, stop. Hmm. Hey, Sparkling. How's it going? Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, I'm still working on some stuff here, but I decided to make a new page uh, to rock my awesome PNG avatar today um, because I missed her. I enjoyed her too much on Sass's streams that I had to bring her over. Um, waiting on food, so you're vibing, sweet. ASMR might hit a little different when you guys aren't, like, focused on my face. <laughs> I don't know, it might be different. Um, I am choosing to do Dead by Daylight. I didn't ask. <laughs> I've been wanting to play this game, and I'm not necessarily getting the games out of it that I wanted to, and, like, every time... And by my computer, I'm like, I want to play. And then I go and do the responsible things. So we're going to get this out of my system before we go back to control. I'm assuming we'll probably be able to do control on Sunday. Um, I'm also working on a shit ton of YouTube uploads. Um, pretty much everything all the way back to October. Um, I think there's only four videos that are posted um, so you guys don't have a lot to go back to. They are uploading. Um, and with all those uploads, then I don't know if I should do like a schedule where they come out like once a day and be like, oh, hey, remember that? Um, so that there's like a release uh, schedule that you can put up. Um, however, everybody's here has already seen all of those. So I could just kind of like try to do my own synopsis of each one and then post them, not individually, but like post them all at the same time <sighs> and just like have them there so that you guys have stuff to fall back on. Um, you know, if I don't know, you have an eight hour shift and you end up, end up somehow binging all of my bods. I don't know if people do that. I do that with some, uh, fellow streamers, but you know, if I need background noise or something, um, I listen to them before. So like, if you guys want the content, it will be available on YouTube, uh, following the weekend. I want to say I've got, I keep having a list of things to take care of. I'm finally going to get my taxes done <laughs> this weekend. So I, I had to call a professional from my old city and I was like, can we just like do remote thing where we do remote filing, please? Cause I don't want to be screwed. Um, so yeah, here's my avatar. This avatar was created by Von Necros, um, similar to Saz Grimoire's and his own. Um, I'm very lucky to have one. Um, and it is inspired by the makeup that I did for a lecture that I did on um, the Irish god, a uh, goddess slash um, the Morrigan. So yes. <sighs> kind of always just having fluids leaving my orifices, you know? It's a normal thing for me. You can call me the bleeder. I don't care. <laughs> it's a compliment. All right, so who's here? Who all is here today? You guys get to put up with my facelessness this time because I literally was strapped for time in terms of trying to do a look today. And I wanted to get my red contacts in and I wanted to do special makeup. And I actually even had a transition video that I was planning on. And like, I just, it was one of those days where executive dysfunction shows not that. And I didn't have any time. I was like, oh, see you at 6 p.m. Except for like 6 p.m. is literally 30 minutes from now. I can't do all of that in 30 minutes. So... Hello, Wyatt Witch and 
fountain encoded. Cool. I know I had a bunch of testing just to make sure that the um that the avatar didn't uh cut off any of the chat. Um Hello Tucka. Sparkling has said hello to you. Hello, Will. Um Foggy Mirror. Foggy Mirror, I don't necessarily recognize your username, but it doesn't say you're a first time chat. So if you've been here and you've been lurking, thank you for being here and welcome again. Um, hello, Harold and Dr. Norp. Hello, Blood. <laughs> Bursting forth once more from a murder of crows. I love that. Um, yes, um, Blood is leading by example, uh, aka Brewbeard. Um, we, we like narratives here, so if you ever feel an itch, a creative itch to have a narrative entry, um, it tickles me a little bit. So I love to see it. I love to see uh, creative entries um, and even as exits, potentially. Hi, Ignis. Hello, Ignis. Lamb Vindaloo. Ooh, that sounds so good. Everybody's in a curry mood today. The bloody divine still fits. Um, I have a temporary title of my Discord. <laughs> I'm still drafting it, so don't get your hopes up. Um, because I'm a perfectionist, and it's not going to be done yet, because I need to add bots. Um, and I, I realized that um, I was falling a bit behind in terms of uh, getting a hold of some people about that. So, um, but if you must know, I called it the Dark Divine Coterie. Um, it's a tester name. I'm not sure if I'm adopting it entirely, but I like the idea. Tuck, I did a better one. Let me find it. Heh. <laughs> Separates from an old oak tree, forming the life in the dust and the moss. Sorry I'm late. I love that. That's wonderful. <laughs> Jamaz gets thrown into the room full force by life and checks pulse. Yep, still alive. Evening. I love it. Better is a strong word. It's lovely. Liquor store. Ah, oh, Scotch highball. Interesting. My father loved Scotch. I never, I never did a Scotch really. Um, and my my stomach will not agree with Irish whiskeys, but I do like a young small batch bourbon. Um, if I'm spoiling myself, but rarely will I ever drink sugar alongside um, alcohol any longer. I prefer it neat um, or or clear at least. Charges in with the form of a lightning bolt. <laughs> I saw the red flags. Oh, a bull, a fighting bull. Why did I see lightning bolt? I don't know. Um, I don't believe that I have all of my faculties intact. <laughs> and that's half of the reason why uh, we're going to do Dead by Daylight. Because it's, it's funny um, to be an amateur and running around. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to do a precursor. Here's a full disclosure. If I encounter another huntress or some bitch that chooses to camp on the hook, I swear to God, I am calmly exiting that game <laughs> because those are not games to be played. That is not how you play Dead by Daylight to make things interesting. So, <laughs> if anyone disagrees with me, you're fine, fine to find the door. Um, just kidding. It's a weird mood. I feel slightly unprepared for this week. I don't know why. <laughs> it, 
And I'm not going to blame it on Valentine's Day because I was I was a good Valentine to myself. And I even got a Kiwi Valentine. So speaking of Sass Grimoire, if we could please give her a current shout out. She is in the middle of streaming Dead by Daylight herself. And she is slightly intoxicated with another Kiwi. Um, and I would just came from there um, lurking. And they're having a ball. So we are going to have a ball. We are going to get into the game. We are going to enjoy ourselves too. Would I be willing to play? Thank you for that. Um, would I be willing to play with anyone else? Well, in terms of the schematics, um, it's a possibility to do a few runs with others. Um, but I am also not necessarily equipped to be able to figure out the discord at the moment. Um, it's a possibility. We're going to leave it on the table. Um, I'm going to do word of the gray because we will not forget about that. And I am also going to do another precursor that I will probably likely, um, be streaming for two hours again, that window, just because of the things I need to take care of. It's like paperwork and, and adulting that just keeps stacking. You know how that works. Coalesces from the moonlight with screeching of a million cicadas. I love that. Um, I would say that any southern noir that has a touch of singing cicadas is comforting to me. I don't know. It's kind of like actually like a more southern thing, but we do have cicadas in the Midwest and, you know, these thick aired summers where you can barely breathe because it's so humid outside that you can't even enjoy the sun that's what cicadas make me think of except for cicadas even though sort of their lifespan is a little bit gross and getting hit by one is also gross um their symbolism and the sounds that they make um it's it's eerie and I respect all things that are eerie, you know, to some degree. So if you think about being stuck in a desert where, like, you know, all you can hear is that high-pitched buzzing. You can feel the vibration of, of them communicating with each other. Um, it's used a lot in horror. And it's even used in some drama productions as well. Um, and I don't remember what I saw, but it was like there was this um, theater production that I saw in my college once. And um, it was it was like they cued all of the really weighted beats. And by beat, I mean like a moment of silence where you start to feel the weight and the gravity of the plot. Um, beats can also be considered in like the pauses in poetry, right? Um, so that's a beat, but like, so for each beat, the cicadas would sing in the middle of all those conflicts and you could feel it almost as its own anthropomorphic state where the, the hissing of the cicadas, um, was sort of the cue for you to start feeling that gravity. I don't know. I liked it. I respect it. So that was a good one. That was, that was a good one. God, it would be terrifying to just, like, see a, a, a horde of them. A brood, yeah. <laughs> it's a brooding, it's a brooding day. All right. We're going to survive on my own for sure at once. We'll see how I do getting used to stuff again. Oh, shit. Word of the God. Damn it. Well, we have time while we're waiting for others unless they all just, oh, everybody's level one. This is going to be terrible. Or wait, didn't somebody say that there was a rank reset? So they, we're not sure if everybody's, how good everybody is. All right, I've got 45 seconds for Word of the Gray. Let's fucking go.
Um, interesting. Model headed. To be model headed. M O T T L E H E A D E D. The adjective of feeling uneasy when socializing with odd combinations of friends and family, or friends and colleagues, or colleagues and family. Mixing a medley of ingredients that don't typically go together, which risks either watering down your identity to a gray mush or accidentally triggering some sort of social explosion. Ugh. To be model headed. And uh, I can definitely relate because I absolutely hate mixing those two things. All three things, in fact, they are meant to be separate. And if I were to be forced into social situations where I would have to balance two different kinds of social interaction like that, man, I would either be my most ingenuine self or I would explode and disappear <laughs> because I can, I'm a one-on-one -on -one type of person most of the time, unless it's a VC, you know, if it's a voice call, maybe you can balance like four people ish, right? Um, but genuinely, like in person, I would explode if there were like three people in my apartment. I couldn't cater to all of them because I'm used to them individually. Oh, yes. Yes, love. Are you, did you have fun? <laughs> Are you quite munted from all the drinks? <laughs> Did you see that you inspired me so much? I, I missed my time with you. So I, I loaded up my PNG um, and we're doing fucking Dead by Daylight. Yo, I was like, I'm channeling my, my inner brooding DVD vibes. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm saving face in terms of like running out of time today. But at the same time, I still justifiably wanted to do this at some point. And it's far past due to um, show off this fucking awesome piece of artwork. Why are you... Is it a ghost face? Is it... Oh, it is. And he just saw me. Son of a bitch. I'm just going to be loud. We're going to run. We'll, we'll play Distraction. I'll be the first on the loop. Yep, 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 yep. I don't. Oh, well. <laughs> what a pity. Shit. Well, you walked a long way to put me on this hook. <gasps> and you drew blood. Rude. Oh, you know what, you son of a bitch? That is so stupid. Toxic. Tell me why people do this. Tell me why people do this. I swear to fucking God, you piece of shit. Asshole. My God. I'm not even the obsession. Why is this happening? You hate to love, love to hate. So far, this toxic shit. I can't say it's been en encouraged by the game. This makes no sense. Seth, I know that you're lurking, but why the fuck is this shit happening? It cannot be... He's literally doing the most toxic shit in the game. Uh, 
I don't understand. What the fuck? No. No, you piece of shit. Put me down, then. Put me down. You know, I might just be a novice. But they tell you, they literally tell you that, uh, that shit is toxic. And by that toxic shit, I mean the fact that you're attacking the same person, you're chasing the same person over and over again, you're camping them on the hook. This is the opposite of what I've learned. I mean, unless people are doing it on purpose now, just to spite the people that are like, oh, you don't like the fact that I'm winning? You don't like the fact that I'm bored? You don't like the fact that I'm, I mean, what? It does seem encouraged by the game mechanics that camping gets you to three hooks quickly. Yeah, but that's not an interesting game. That's the most boring shit. Gaming mechanics has nothing to do with the actual chemistry between a killer and his victims. Um, I don't know. He's literally just playing so that he can level up his character in the most toxic-ass way instead of actually playing the game. I just saw my first ad in your stream, Gray. Taco Bell. <laughs> well, hell's bells. <laughs> Get it? If you don't, look it up. <laughs> Reasons I can't play DVD. I would get way too heated by... Listen. Listen, I mean, I, okay, I have been spoiled by customs, okay? But what I was educated on in terms of etiquette, thank you for the reset. Um, there's camping, right? Camping is literally, you put someone on the hook and you don't even give any of the teammates an opportunity to get their teammate down. You get the same amount of blood points if you walked the fuck away and started chasing someone else. But no, you're just going to watch me on the hook? Is that, it's got to be some, something on the tome. Because, again, every player, every good player, every long-term player that I have played with is like, that is bad etiquette. That is shit. That is a shit stain. Also, slugging slugging is when you slash someone and they drop and you don't put them anywhere you don't put them on a hook there's a difference between losing someone being like oh shit i can't find them they crawled away from me and literally cutting someone down so that you could drop them and then doing it to another person and dropping them and still putting nobody on a hook okay that is also shit etiquette and then, um, then there's, there's repeat offenses of going for the same person. If it's the obsession, that makes sense. Okay. But if you're not the obsession and you keep going after the same person, maybe because you think they suck more, maybe because you think that they, um, you know, and it's, it's fun to have a brand of being like, yeah, you know what? I'm going after Cheryl because it's Cheryl. Uh, a lot of people don't really brand that way. They don't just, like, hate on one character, one survivor. Um, that's just bad etiquette, again, to go after the same person that just got off the hook. Now, all of these seem like etiquette rules from people who might have had safeties. Um, but the funnest way to play the game is one that's integrative, right? You're putting people on hooks, and you're chasing people plenty. Um, it, it cancels out any potential enjoyment of this game to grab a thing and put it on a hook and watch paint dry. It's boring for me. 
It's boring for my teammates. And it should be fucking boring for the killer. So the fact that the first three games that I have played since I took a hiatus is that bullshit. Why the fuck is it a trend? It's gross. And I don't care if you're ghost face. I don't care if you're daddy. I don't give a flying fuck which killer you are. If that's your only strategy, stop playing the game. Because, ew. Get me to like you even though you're killing me. How about that? Try that. There's a challenge for you. Fuck. Hey, Air Cricket. By the way, thank you for, um, thank you to Dr. Norp for granting me a blade. And I want to remind everyone that the blades that are left from Christmas that are still on the throne will acquire your name with your consent. Right now, I have a blade called Chaos. I have a um, Orca. I have the Doctor. Um, what else do I have? Did I get four total? I'm pretty sure I have four total right now. So, or, and Hydra, yeah. So I have Hydra, Doctor, Chaos and Orca so far. And hopefully that's res in, in respects to everybody who, who chose to <laughs> surprise me with blades. Oh, it's the fun. Um, they're so pretty. And luckily those will be like display costume knives that I hide on my person. So I don't know if I'll be able to get all 10 on one costume, but I am gonna try to do at least a minimum of five. So there'd be three on my belt um, and two near my arms, like on a chest belt. Either that, or I might hide one down by my, but I don't have, uh, they're too large to be boot knives. So I would have to have like a, like an ankle, like a, like a calf. Um, garter thing if I were to do that well we'll see we'll see I'm gonna have to probably craft my own belt if I can't come up with finding a dagger belt we'll see but thank you <laughs> oh you're good it was a little bit strange in the beginning anyway the weight of the boots right now, well, you know, just in general, either I'm going to have like massive combat boots on, right? Uh, just to hold it there and not lose it. But not to mention like chafing and, and stuff like that if it doesn't have its own pocket. And usually boot knives are relatively small. And these daggers are, I want to say like eight inches. At least like the otakus are. So, silent hell! Do you have to reset your tome goals every time you play? Because if that's the case, I probably should have thought of that. I love how edgy my girl is. Like, this avatar is so cool. I don't know if I actually look this edgy most of the time. I'd like to think so. <laughs> Somebody was like, yeah, you totally give this look. <laughs> I appreciate Vaughn so much. There's quite a few people that actually have drawn me. I know that Loop, if you guys are familiar with Loop, um, Loop's drawn me. Um, Justin Blaze has drawn me. Maisie has drawn me, which hers actually, it's like all smoke. My eyes kind of turn into just black holes. Oh, 
<gasps> oh my god, no, shit, no, that's not great. That's awful. Awful, 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 awful. That's slugging, right there. That is slugging. Get up, get up. Oh my God. Are you literally outing me right now? What the hell is this betrayal? What the fucking garbage is this? I... I don't understand anything that's going on right now. Fuck this game mechanics. They're just... Bullshit playing. What the fuck was that? My own teammate was like, oh, hey, look, I just outed my own person. She's hiding in a locker. Here we fucking go. Here she is. Um, and, but he's also slugging everyone and not putting anyone on hook. What the fuck is going on here? Do you know, you guys know how this game runs, right? You know how this game is played. You literally are a killer and you put people on hooks or you mori them. Okay. And your teammates help you escape. None of this makes any fucking sense. No, I'm not healing you, you stupid fuck. No. You crossed me, bitch. I'm not your friend. Hi, Banshee. You want to say hi? Did you bleed everywhere earlier? <laughs> Little Banshee caught her claw in something and it split. And I woke up to blood being all over the chair. And like, this is her chair. And I did my best to clean it. And I, but she really worried me. I was like, oh my fucking God. What is going on, little girl? But luckily, it was just a little claw, and it wasn't a big injury. I don't mind Mike Myers. The killers are usually, like, inevitably going to have an advantage. What is going on? Why are people leading me? Why are people betraying me right now? Is this real? Is this fucking real? What in the fuckery? What the fuck? This is the second person. I need to figure some shit out. Sass, what the fuck is going on in Dead by Daylight? All of my... I'm so, everybody's like working together, but also not. And I'm the only confused one. Like. Are they just extending the game and they're cracking the game so that. I'm just going to, you know what? I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to go with it. I don't fucking know. I don't know what the, the lingo is here, but I'm missing something. They're like, here, just go with it. Look, 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 look. So no one's actually playing the game anymore. That's what I'm understanding to be true now. You know, I'm just going to go with it.
We're just gonna farm for points, I guess. Is is no one else bothered by how confusing this is? <laughs> I don't remember if cunt maybe I just recently I don't think that's a band word. That's not a band word. Because I'm serving Khan. So people just found a way to cheat by fucking around because everyone's desensitized to all hell and no one cares about this game anymore. They're like, we just hate it. And we're still playing it, so we're just going to try to max out and work together by maxing everything out. There you go. It's not, it's not a banned word. Only Jesus Christ is banned. <laughs> because TikTok. So no one, is anyone doing, no one's doing gens. We're just fucking around. Um, Michael saw me. Well, that's good. Oh, go away, dude. I don't like you. Okay, that one's done. Go the fuck away, man. I don't like you. Oh, well, I'm running right toward him. Shut up, Alarm. I'm trying to run away from something. Oh my god. Oh, that was a run. That was a good run. Hey. Well, fuck. Yeah, yeah, I thought you didn't like me, you stupid fuck. Look at this bullshit, you toxic ass. Oh my god. I want him reported. <laughs> the absurdity is pointless. You stupid fuckhead. I literally should just, you know what? Don't fucking touch me. Piss off, you fuckhead. Would you? Fuck. I literally. Thanks. Just literally don't. God. What? Oh, my God. 
Ta-da. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna we're gonna play the game backwards on purpose. That's what we're doing. Let's go. We'll just do that. Thanks, thanks. You know, Mori me, you know, you know, you know. We're gonna like, we're gonna dance. We're gonna do that sh stuff. This guy, what the fuck is his name? Bob Redfield needs to go the fuck to sleep. Yeah, what the hell is this? Seriously, I'm I am not even motivated. A trigger warning for asshole. How the fuck do you report people on this game? Like, this legitimately is not even a game. I'm just gonna... No. Put me on the fucking hook. I literally am going to send this to Sass tomorrow and be like, sorry, girl. I just need you to witness this. Is this usual? I've never seen her play a game like this before. And I watched their streams all the fucking time. They actually have decent runs. I don't know what I'm watching. I don't know what this experience is. And like, when it, when it comes to getting worked up in gaming, right? If it is aesthetically valuable, at least, I will forgive you. But what the actual... Flying fuck am I experiencing right now? This is not a game. <sighs> Do I even have time? Should I put myself in a locker to read the link? Can I report him after the game or do I have to do it during the game? Because the fuck. So when I was playing Vault 76, I am a massive Fallout fan, okay? I am a massive Fallout fan. And I played Fallout 4, I played New Vegas, each individually for as long as usually people would play Skyrim. A long ass fucking time. And as soon as Vault 76 came out, I only played that game for three months because of the toxic fucking imbeciles that were clogging up the servers with anti-cooperation tactics. Making the game disgustingly boring. This is what I'm smelling. The people have played this game so much that they don't give a fuck about the way you're supposed to play it. And they do everything in their power to play it the way that nobody plays the game. Because it's funny to them. It's like a cat playing with a mouse. They feel like they have some god complex by breaking the system. They're like, I'm breaking the fourth wall. I'm cool. Very small dick energy. And how dare you wear Chris Redfield as your pompous ass piece of shit, awful gaming style persona. Yikes. <sighs> oh, God. A glimpse of what the game actually looks like? Whew. 
you know, and like in like the social media, uh, social media tutorials, they're always telling you to like stay in a happy mood and like, you know, keep it up deep and try not to flame anybody. You know, but, um, what the, <laughs> great, this is what you wanted. You wanted this. You asked for it, bitch. <laughs> I was going to say, this is kind of what men taste like, just disappointment. <laughs> That was a joke because everyone in my audience is mask presenting <laughs> with the exception of Sass and Queen and Lori. Oof. <laughs> Listen, that wasn't the, an insult to my audience. It was an insult to the men who have tried. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. She's at my A. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for somebody to watch this stream that actually plays D DBD. <laughs> and and just watch their expression of being like, what in the actual fuck did I watch? I'm going to call that the antithesis. That is the antithesis of Dead by Daylight. Um, for those of you who haven't played this game and are curious. <laughs> don't do that. But who, who people, people who play this game know already that what the fuck just happened <laughs> to me. <laughs> I'm telling Sass. Maybe she would understand. You know what? That warrants a fucking bright rock up. I'm gonna fuck somebody up. <laughs> They're gonna get munted. Look at, look at me go. Do they have alternate death animations for hooks yet? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Let me tell you. I am an amateur. I played this game a lot, but in the comfort of knowing my killer. Um, it was more fun that way, honestly. There's more banter, uh, more dialogue, more play. This isn't playing. This is just watching shit unfold. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> You're like, no, why? No, uh, no, why? 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 <sighs> Only to play with friends. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody's, you know, uh, we're, we were on a big, Sea of Thieves uh, uh, phase and then Boulder's Gate unleash itself to the world and no one is the same. <laughs> no one will ever be the same after those, after that update, right? Uh, I finally got to Act 2 um, and maybe I'll get farther along. But generally, like, I'm never really going to bring Boulder's Gate to stream. Because there's so many games to play and getting caught up in just one, I already play it like off stream. So I feel like it would just be too much Boulder's Gate and like blasphemous. There's no such thing. Um, but there's, again, there's so many things on my list that I kind of have to balance things. And I, I'm right now I'm like a jack of all games where um, I'm not necessarily proficient or like doing a really, really good job in just one. 
Um, and I still have so many on my roster, you know. We still got to get through control as well. And I love control. I really like it. It's just that the navigation is hard sometimes, so I don't feel like I'm going through the game as fast, you know. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I maybe I'll arrange some, try to get an actual party uh, together for nostalgia purposes if, if the Mothlings miss the good old Dead by Daylight days. As I sure do. But this shit has nothing compared to the fun we had, man. I don't know what the fuck this is. And I want to get good at this game. So that maybe. Just maybe. I'll, I'll run with the wolves and, and join Nerex and Sass and maybe even Vaughn at some point. But you got to be good. You know. They've been playing this for so long. You got to be good. Because otherwise, I well, maybe it would just be entertainment at that point if I wasn't, but. Does anybody watch Queen of Vikings? I know that I, I've been watching her myself a couple of times, and I know that she's been playing uh, certain games quite a bit. But does she play Dead by Daylight? Does anyone know? Hmm. Okay. That's valid. Ah, uh, yes, stream elements. Thanks, stream elements. Advertising for me. Um, likely some of those will be on hiatus. But what of the gray mysterious elixir, and even potentially a read aloud might be up my alley if someone asks before seven thirty. But there's time. I think running to to approximately eight eight thirty, and um, is gonna be my threshold just because of the things I have to take care of. But I appreciate every single one of you that chose to come out at short notice. Obviously, some people know my schedule. It's Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Normally six p.m. to ten p.m. If I'm up to snuff. Um, and you know, I think I might like to incorporate. Um, my avatar at least once a week, potentially, um, because it takes a lot to put together those looks and I need fresh ideas. Oh my God. Like I said, what is all this disappointment? Uh, I still want to bring them to you, but I think what I want to do is I want to put an ample amount of time in to be able to do maybe one or two really good ones throughout the week and then just like have a day where I don't have to take away two and a half hours to get ready for stream and just be ready for stream. That way, instead of doing makeup, I will be able to potentially do some philosophy stuff. Um, and I might, with this girl here, choose to, to bring you some info in like a PowerPoint form. Or, um, not PowerPoint, but like, uh, there's a, there's like an interactive way of providing information. So maybe I could present, um, a philosophical topic or two and test the waters on what people want to learn about. It was an idea, uh, potentially reserved for Sundays. Something, something. I've been brainstorming a lot, and um, unfortunately, as a Pisces, sometimes we tend to brainstorm a lot. Um, and then execution is only like one or two of those, you know, 25 ideas. Um, but constantly thinking is always good, because if you have some form of execution, then, then you have something going for you, right? You don't even know what day of the week it is anymore. Man, there's something with the magnetism of the earth right now. Um, I was going to run a charity fund tonight. And I posted. Um, and I set it up. 
And I thought that I did my fact checking on the one that I chose. And I was really proud of the fact that I was finally going to actually do some charity work. Um, because a lot of my friends adjacent have done a lot of charity work. And I do really think that the situation in Palestine um, is dire. Not to mention the fact that I had chosen one. Um, it was called Doctors Without Borders. And I wanted to be able to actually fund something that helped people all over. Because, uh, you know, Palestine and Israel and everything that's happening there and the tragedies that are happening to those people are still adjacent to what's happening in fucking Ukraine. Um, and so Doctors Without Borders were um, what I thought to be a very helpful organization. However, um, while I was doing fact-checking, um, I have reason to believe that they have problems. Um, and they are stated adjacent to the amount of money that they have earned as a nonprofit organization that's supposed to be uh, neutral in religion and gender and race. That there were a few scandals that have come out of that organization that have prevented me from trusting them entirely with trying to fund money for them. So if there's anybody um, who is curious about them and would like to do some adjacent fact checking before I, um, you know, even think about raising money for their cause, um, I am interested in doing charity funding, given that there are no issues. So I think that they do a lot of good. I'm just not necessarily sure that they are perfect representations um, of, of people who have not um, used a point of privilege uh, to undermine some of the people that they're supposed to be helping. <sighs> and so I don't know, it's like no good deed goes unpunished, right? But um, I did specifically read that there was potential trafficking and or um, the abuses that had been taking place, um, not to mention white supremacism as well. And I'm like, all of those things are very problematic, adjacent to trying to help people cure diseases, um, you know, um, fix wounds, um, supply uh, medical aid. And I believe it's out of France, and I thought it was out of Switzerland originally, but they are just planted in Switzerland, founded by France. Um, and all of that is well and good. It's good. It pays to be educated about the people that you want to fund for. So I just didn't think that they were the perfect candidate, even though I had respected them in the past for the things that they had done in Ukraine prior to the things that are happening in Palestine. But they are there and they are helping. And medical aid is really the most immediate thing that you can do for people who are suffering. Aside from... Um, feeding the hungry. So just some contemplations. Um, if you guys have recommendations specific to um, those happenstances, please let me know um, so that I, ha I can have proper candidacy for the charities that I run. Um, thank you for listening. This game seems a little bit less chaotic. We, we know what's happening. Um, you know, nobody's doing gens, but uh, that can be forgiven as long as nobody's being crazy. Crazy's a strong word. Yeah, well, if you would like to look into um, Doctors Without Borders to maybe clear their name or something adjacent, that would be better than them. But it's literally... Um, 
not on their own website, but on their Wikipedia page. Commit, commit, commit. Oh, shit. I almost had it. Usually I wouldn't use Wikipedia, like, right away. It's just that sometimes, you know, you always, the rhetoric of um, medical organizations and nonprofit organizations is to put yourself in the best light possible. So they're obviously going to omit the things that w they were accused of. Um, but just as a quick social controversy portion of the Wikipedia page kind of shows you at least resources where people have outed them for cruel untidings. You're good. And this is all just casual suggestion. Um, I probably won't be running the charity Sunday, but I am thinking in the near future as long as the candidacy is proper. I'm so sorry. That's better. That's a better skill check. I'm distracted. Okay. I haven't been up against uh, uh, the old rifle guy in a while. The slinger, isn't it? Gunslinger. Please don't camp him. I'm going to go back and watch the VOD for that crazy shit that happened in the first game. I'm sure eventually it'll be funny that I was throwing a fit, but what the actual fuck? So, <laughs> you know? Oh, JK. Oh, he kicked it, didn't he? Shit. Is he gonna, like, explode if it... Come on, come on. Hey, there you go. <sighs> I know, Marovic. I I genuinely thought that they were... I, I chose them. I I watched the good that they did in Ukraine um, when all that went down. I, I had hyper fixated on Ukraine for a while because a lot of people found that situation just like pull out and make it their own problem because they've had the same problem for decades and decades and almost a century now trying to escape the clutches of Russia. Um, but, but... Everything that that country tried to do to push back um, and all the politics and all the messed up shit that the people don't have any power over. They're just trying to live their lives. They just want their lives intact, right? Some of those people are just so impoverished. All they want is like a place that they can keep as their home. The thing that they worked for or the thing that they inherited that they don't want to leave. Um, and that's all that they're worried about, their family. The, the family doesn't want to get blown up, right? It's just too much to ask, right, that all the shelling just stop. 
that everything doesn't have to be destroyed, that they can have running water and electricity again. Um, and to know that people that were getting shell injuries, shelling injuries, um, or, or people that had to be picked up off the side of the fucking road, that the, the people were bound by their trigger warning for the truth. <laughs> that people were bound by their wrists and their ankles, shot in the head and left to rot on the street. Um, and, and the children had to witness their parents like that. Um, again, no running water. When's the last shipment of food? Who fucking knows? Corrupt government, corrupt police. People who are fighting on the wrong side is basically guerrilla warfare, but with a fake government intact, protecting the government. That the militia isn't on both sides. Hey, Maverick, just talking about Ukraine. So, the charity, right? When I had seen them in the light that I had seen them in, those doctors were coming in and they were helping the sick and the injured. And they were constantly running these buses where anywhere that they could go, they were pulling all-nighters. These doctors wanted to do that and they wanted to be there. They were, they were field medics, but they weren't owned by either side. They were literally like the clerics, right? They were running into battle being like, you know what? I'm going to wear this red cross. I'm going to bear the fact that I am literally only a neutral party here to heal people, regardless of what side you're on, and get you back home because, you know, your part of the war is over. Um, that's what I saw in them. And then I had done background just to make sure because there's so many people picking sides and not remaining neutral. And then also, you also have to be concerned about greed. So nonprofits and people who take nonprofits and they siphon money into other places, um, they exploit the people that they're supposed to be helping, etc. They exploit their workers and put them under um, in in danger that they didn't necessarily agree to, or or um, expose them to harsh conditions with irreversible consequences, etc. Um, you know, and they use contracts to their benefit in terms of the security that they have to break the rules in those non and nonprofit uh, regulations, right? So yeah, you do have to fact check every charity so that they aren't screwing people, so that they aren't hurting people, and that they are helping people. And unfortunately, I wanted to use that charity because a lot of that organization is selfless people going across country over various nations, helping strangers just stay alive that it is very mortifyingly unfortunate that the one charity I wanted to run is exploitive. Or at least is accused of being exploitive. And as the majority of all of their funds are from private investors, you would hope that they were all in good conscience. But I want to know if anyone can find evidence to the contrary before I consider them again. Because I would be in it for the doctors and to fund the medical supplies going in the direction of both Ukraine and Palestine. But there's no guarantee of where that money is going to go and what I'm helping raise for. I had an itch and he was gonna kill me anyway. Oh, he slugged me. <laughs> uh, 
Anera, which has no political or religious affiliation, works on ground with partners in Palestine mobilizing immediate emergency relief, has already delivered 12,000 bags of IV solutions for Gaza's largest hospital in the coming days, and they will distribute food parcels, water, and hygiene kits to displaced families. I like the sound of that. Thank you for the highlight. Um, I'm glad to see that. And yes, thank you guys for um, letting me venture into that contemplation. Charity Watch. What is Charity Watch? Is it like a way that you can filter whether or not people have been accused of exploitation? <laughs> that would be nice. Un unbiased nonprofits. Oh, my game just glitched. I think he's chasing me so that he can get us both. Oh my. I don't know if I should just wait for Hatch. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Why is that? Shit. How did I survive this long? I don't know. Is he camping her so he can get me? Yeah. Yeah, he is. That's shitty. <sighs> don't camp. Let me get her down, please. Let me get her down. I think he's just watching us <laughs> from afar. Look at that. Well, that's okay. I respect that. Oh my gosh.
and he's really looking for me. His heartbeat's not going away, man. Oh my god. We only need one left, but like which one? Fuck. Oh my gosh. I wonder if that one's good. That one's also good. Shit. Guys, we need to find a gen. Dating sucks in an area where no one took COVID seriously and it's hard to trust. Oh, yeah. Shit. Is he slugging? Why are you slugging, my dude? Oh, fuck. Wow, this one's taken a while. He's either really patient or like. He's waiting <laughs> for us to run again. If you want a good charity to support, I suggest Human Appeal. While they're only going to Palestine, they're supported by Palestinians. Maybe I was using them. Meals on Wheels. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It is true. Where on earth? I can't find a gen that's not completed. It's I, it's likely in the center, but like, are we gonna run out of time? Wait, why does it say that there's a bot involved? I'm I'm helping a bot. I didn't know you could do that on live games. Hmm. 
They're all like together. Come on. <gasps> no, it gave me my spot. Shit. Oh, no. It's a highly, it's highly rated on charity watch. I'm <sighs> just wondering. Oh, shit. Well, fuck, he found me. Oh, damn it. If Meg's a bot, I don't know if she's going to save me. Yeah, well, I guess that makes a difference. You know, I just don't want to make the mistake. Solely based on the things that I had found, you know? See, I respect this guy. Sure, the game goes on a little bit longer, but like, why the hell not? You know? All the generators are right fucking here. In the box. Just gonna wait there. Oh my god, Meg. You don't have time.
I'm crying, I think. Quite a bit. This one's rather tedious, if you ask me. Well, possibly. Thank you guys for looking into it. Like, I mean, it could just, you know, I just want to be cautious. Just, you know, the crippling defeat of, like, imagining that you were doing, like, good for the world, and it, you just happen to pick someone who's doesn't do the best. I wonder how many points he's getting. I wonder how many points I'm getting, honestly, for staying alive this long. I should probably recover in case she comes for me. I wish that he would have killed the bot so I could have gotten Hatch, but it feels like... Um, who needed the handicap? <laughs> Usually the bots are assholes, so like... What an ugly some bitch. Like his coat though. Good game. Mertley. Hello, Mertley. How's it going? How are you doing this fine evening? If all good things come out and Doctors Without Borders ends up being um, trustworthy, then that's who we will commence with. But again, doing fine. What about what about me? Well, we've had a crazy ride so far. The first two games, one actually was existentially long, but fair. And the first one was complete chaos. So if you feel the need to go back and watch the VOD, I was literally throwing a bit of a tantrum because it made no sense to me, the etiquette, or the lack of etiquette. It was the antithesis of how to play this game. It was crazy. It was wild. <laughs> and um, you've caught me on a day where I'm, I'm using an avatar as opposed to my normal face, you know. You like wild things. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Good on you for liking the wild. We're gonna go right back into it. Got a ton of blood points, but I'll spend them later. And nothing that's going to enhance me now, to my knowledge. Mind you that everybody in chat, should you ever try, um, if you use my emotes in a pyramid shape, you will get a congratulations uh, via chatbot for uh, commending you on your hard work. And what you do to make a pyramid. Do Bert, you were streaming? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, brother. Um, so good to have you here. What were you playing? Were you guys just vibing? Please give a shout out to my good brother. Thank you. Thank you. That was so very fast. Yee. 
My antimatter bro ski. <laughs> oh, Ignis, you're still here. You're pink to me. When did you change your color? I thought that you were just green. Yes, Dr. Norp, do it. Two. One. Oh, you're going to go for the big one. Don't disturb Dr. Norp. Oh my gosh, she's going to go for the big one. Nobody ruin it. Nobody ruin it. <laughs> go for gold, Dr. Norp. Go for gold, Dr. Norp. Nobody ruin it. No, Ignis ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh damn so the pyramids are just as follows and Dr. Darp did the right thing but when you interrupt it <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta start over um, the cool thing is yes I, I think you suspicious no, thank you the notification um love the hammer hopefully our game doesn't get canceled it's been kind of iffy in terms of loading out um let me see so i love it uh benefits to everybody in chat don't man ban me please <laughs> no i wouldn't that was funny that was perfect comic relief um all you require to do a pyramid is a two or a one, a two, a three, two, and a one. That's the primary pyramid. Um, okay, obviously we're doing with another Mike Myers, which is okay. We're doing it. That's all right with me. That's okay, as long as he's not he's not as toxic as the first one. Oh, this map isn't too big either, so. Except for I'm running without a fucking med kit. So that's shitty. Oh, gray. We do know straight up Dwight, too. So does that mean that they're loading in bots because people don't want to play? Duck is in charge of the pyramids. A hydrate. Oh, I don't mind if I do. There we go. This is only the beginning. <laughs> oh, I hear guns. Something like popping. Why does that, that sounds weird to me. Where are the generators? It's me all alone in the bush. That's not fair though. <gasps> oh my God, I've never gotten to play against a naughty bear. It's a trapper. No wonder I was hearing shots. It's the traps. It's a naughty bear. Okay, there's no traps in front of this guy. Dwight, why are you a bot? I know you're a bot. Oh, brew, brew beard, yeah. Doob doob, do you think that anybody would ever want to play this? Like, not right now, but like, like weeks from now? Because it's nostalgic for me. Sometimes it's fun nostalgia. Look at the naughty bear. Where's letting me do this, Jen? Oh. 
Good old trappy boy. Yes, Dr. North. You have been noted in my brain. How many people in chat have this game? Fuck people online. Yeah. Ooh, here's one. Why, why are you being such an idiot? Just literally not being... Okay, there we go. Be of use. I'm getting, it's getting better, but it was pretty abrasive at the beginning, at the start. I don't know what the hell that was. Like, my, my teammates were betraying me and outing me out of lockers and showing the killer where I was, my whereabouts, and exposing me. And then the killer wasn't putting anybody on hooks. He was just, like, hitting us down and slugging us and then waiting for other people to heal. So we would just get back up again. And nobody was doing gens. They were just running around with their heads cut off. It made no sense. Nothing. It was complete absurdism, which usually I would respect. But it wasn't fun. And it definitely wasn't aesthetic. It was the opposite of such. Oh, so. Anyway. That one's done. The only have two left. Naughty bear. Okay. Oh, they got back up. They must have, um, plot twist, which I don't have yet. Oh, fair, Taka. Oh, there's one upstairs here. Let's go, Dwight. Oh, I did, I did technically hydrate already, but I guess you can't see the proof, so I will announce out loud. <gasps> no, they DC'd. I was, oh. <gasps> Patience Gray. Patience Gray. Oh. I'm drinking water now. God damn it. At least my frustration is mildly entertaining. Mm. We both won. A giveaway from Sass at one point. Are you talking about when I got uh, Alien? You will outlive them in all your vampiric immortality. <laughs> yes. You are right about that. I will outlive them all. <sighs> Yes, the Xenovorf. Of course, I didn't get um, the mother, and I feel like I should. The queen.
Einmal. Let me check something out real here. Real, real quick. You know, it is a possibility that we could raid into Vaughn at 8.30. For all the times he's raided me, I owe him. And he wouldn't say that. I'm saying that. But in terms of our scheduling, he always has the upper hand by ending earlier than I, so... We're gonna keep an eye out and see if I will be able to raid him before he ends his stream for the night. We're going to do one more because I don't have addictive tendencies and I can't say that this game is addicting, but it does bother me that trying to get good, especially like using a keyboard and adapting to everything, some of the, you know, some of the things. This is for killer, though, isn't it? L literally, that's it. Why didn't I click that earlier? Don't judge me. I don't play this game often. I want to play it more, but I keep getting deterred. <laughs> me and my spouse are eating a Latin dessert called... Milhosh, um, it's Spanish, but Miojas, Milojas, did I say it right? Did I slaughter it? I've never heard of that one. I love flan. I guess that's not Latin, but it's a Hispanic dessert of origin. But Japanese, uh, Japanese culture likes flan too, don't they? It's like a custardy pudding. I should probably fix my fucking loadout and stop being such a little, you know, give me something. I don't have shit for offerings. Um, I wish that, I wish that I had like authentic flan because, you know, there's like flan and then there's just like there's authentic tacos, right? Somebody who came from Mexico to do street tacos, it's going to be tenfold the experience of something that was marketed and imported and preserved. I'm like, nah, I want the fresh stuff. I want it made from scratch, homie. Bendejo. Por favor. <laughs> Yo hablo español solamente un pocosito. <laughs> y no más. <laughs> like... What do they teach you? I, I have six years, a minimum. And when you don't keep doing it, it's kind of like riding a bike where I feel like I can understand and try to read and translate cognates and, and try to remember certain things. Me duele el corazón. Could be real poetic. I've I've read a lot of Spanish poetry, but... I don't know. When you don't flex that muscle, sometimes it leaves you. Real tacos don't use cheese. You're right. It's onions and cilantro. And you got the double flat grilled 
corn tortillas. And you have two of them so that they don't fall apart. And you have to fry them because if you, if you don't fry them, is this game going to fucking load? If you don't fry the tortillas, one, only half of your meal is going to be hot. Two, only half of your meal is going to be saucy. And three, you have to like sort of cook the corn meal. <laughs> it's just having like raw corn tortillas sounds kind of weird. And they're flimsy and they break and they're brittle. You need to add oil and kind of firm them up a little bit so that they form around the meat that they're going to hold. I'm going to fucking lose it. The fuck is this? Bullshit. We're going to play one more fucking game. We're going to play one more fucking game. I don't even know. They're like trying to give me bots to play with. Because what? There's not enough people online. There's too many people online. I just bought a normal fucking game. Here, how about this? Give me the fucking hag. Okay. Okay. Or like Vami Mommy. Or like anybody I haven't experienced already. Even the blight. Come on. Even the fucking blight. Hand it over. Give me something interesting. Give me teammates that move. And don't try to fucking betray me. And let's play a fucking game. Don't second guess yourself, Dr. Norp. I'm adorable when I'm angry. Especially accompanied by sharp objects. <laughs> so enjoy the attitude while it lasts. Because I've been too sweet. <laughs> Cop killer. Uh, camping on the hook. Oh, God. No. Why? No. I, <laughs> I am indeed entertained. Are you not entertained? <laughs> it's actually more fun to puppet... Uh, uh, you know, like, I feel like I can, I can spend more energy on my voice than my, you know, my cadence. Um, be a little bit more theatrical with, with a emoter. Like, you know what I mean? I think it's more fun. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's fucking go. Oh, my God, all these people. I, I swear I'm trying to reassure myself. But like I'm not seeing high numbers because either there's a, like a new filtration system where like low level start with low level or there was a rank reset. I keep on saying there's a rank reset, which means that everybody's zero again, which means that everybody needs to like re-level themselves. So some really, really good people can be really low level right now. I don't know if that's a thing or if I'm just gaslighting myself into believing that. I'll confirm eventually. But, like, I'm having a lot more issues with this game than enjoying watching them on stream. Because, what the fuck? Give me Alien. Right? Like, give me the Xeno. Give me Xeno. I especially hate the pig. But, like, give me anyone. Give me the fucking doctor. I don't mind the doctor. I think he's an ass. But, like... His shit's terrifying. And the Cenobite. Let me some Hellraiser. Let's fucking go. <sighs> gimme, gimme. Please. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe consider changing servers. What, just like... Loading out of the game entirely. Okay. Interesting. I like her outfit. Oh, come on, man.
What are you doing, girl? Yeah, too many people in one spot, you're right. I hate the clown too. I wonder who he got. Oh, that was my fault. Deadites, yeah. What's that? I like this map though. I think this is the plague's mask or the the plague's mask, the plague's map. Can they see me vault? Oh, fuck. It's another trapper. Well, that's not great. She's playing on a different server, yeah. This is a really awkward match. But like, all of this is fair, so looking at it as it being fair. Hi Maverick, thanks for lurking. A lot of these are just knockdowns. Nobody's been on a hook yet. Oh, what the fuck? Well, that was silly. Why can't we get away from this guy? Holy shit. Uh, 
Uh, all right, Jamaz. Uh, notifying everyone that Jamaz is going to do a pyramid. <laughs> These are fun. I love the blood pyramids. Pyramids of Wusa. Just kidding. I don't know. All right, well, a lot of us are just being trapped and, like, with no progress, you know? I get it, but this, we're just going in circles. Or gems. Hey, there's a gem. You go ahead for the rescue, and I'll do a gen. Because we need a gen. Demas! Well, people have respected you so far, if you're willing to try again. No, Jamaz. Come on, give me a gen. Come on, come on, come on. Redemption. <laughs> I'm just happy that there's blood all, all over the place, you know? Shit. Wow. I fell into that, you know? No. Nah. That was foolish of me. Foolish, but not selfish. I made myself some shrimp tonight with fresh jalapenos, fresh cilantro. Squeeze of lime. Did that guy just bleed out or did he? Dude, his body disappeared. Um, well, he's never gonna pick me up. So, egg. Mm -hmm. 
God, dude. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was something, man. <sighs> well, Dying, laying on the ground like that was kind of a boner killer. I'm going to pee and we're going to do one more because I'm not willing to close out like that. I don't, I don't know. That was like, eh, but also. <laughs> Did you have fun? No. <laughs> Customer support. All right. Noted. <sighs> Impressively with your five width pyramid. Up here, Ignis goes. All right. You guys are plenty occupied with your blood pyramids. Um, we will erect... The greatest blood city to ever uh, exist. I want to pee quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> returned and I have some black and gold with me here so I'm gonna take a shot to everybody who has put up with my grumpy ass <laughs> I kind of like myself this way but that's just me um yes I'm gonna have a taste of sake I had my water. I was actually just drinking water before I left to come back here. You can do walls of silence as well. Um, but I'm not going to derail all of the blood because the blood is beautiful. Um, yes. Cheer to ev cheers to everybody out on this Friday where the magnetism of the moon and the earth is making things strange. <laughs> Obviously, global happenstances are strange. And Valentine's Day was unfortunately more grim <laughs> this year um, than others. And grim by, by way of chance that even though we were reassuring ourselves that everything is good and um, 
that we can treat ourselves well on this day and we can treat the people that we love and everyone surrounding us well. Uh, we can gift them and treat them any day of the year that we want to instead of just one marketing day of the year. Um, this pyramid is so epic, so hopefully we can get it all there. You guys can reply once it's through. Um, because I want to see this bitch happen. It's so cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. There's just a strange energy pulling everything down. And I know that a lot of people sort of succumb to that loneliness instead. And I want to just remind you guys that every year, Valentine's Day has always been, for me, a day to treat myself well. Impressively, Jamaz has finished the eighth with Pyramid. Kudos to you. Holy hell, we have the blood pharaohs. <laughs> We're not coining those terms, but I was like pyramids. <laughs> Woo. There you go. That's awesome. And it looks so cool on stream. <laughs> Because you can't fully see that in just this, like the side chat, side chat, but it actually turned into a perfect point. Um, just in that space there above my head, which is super cool. Um, anyway. Quite literally, a blood pyramid. It's magnificent. Um, but yes, uh, cheers to everybody who pulled through that. You can treat yourself well. Um, I try to do it every single day I'm alive. Uh, I remind myself every day that I am lucky to have the circumstances that I have, that I feel safe, that I feel safe enough to be able to protect myself, that I'm comfortable in my loft, that I have my cat and she is healthy in her old age, that I have good friends that respond to me, um, are emotionally available and they are supportive. Um, I am lucky that I have a roof over my head and an atmosphere that is a perfect temperature. I <laughs> would continue on and on and on and on about all of the things that I'm lucky to have and that is why I remind myself that I should be kinder to myself and remember the things that I am appreciative of before dashing myself with what I haven't gotten done yet or whether or not I'm alone or the morality and mortality of man. <sighs> right. Can go to very dark places very quickly if you let yourself. And Valentine's Day seemed to be one of those days where people just gravitated towards the pull of what loneliness feels like. And it is valid. However, in that loneliness, you could spend some of that time Treating yourself the way that you would want someone else to treat you. So that that void does not become someone else's requirement. <laughs> I always caution, I'm always the cautionary tale of codependent uh, tendencies. And the first two things about codependent tendencies in the American dream is that Another person completes you. That you are only half of yourself until you are in a relationship. Um, and that you depend on others for your happiness. Those two things are terrible for your psyche. You can love to be accompanied. You can love the touch of another, the caring gaze, the things they do for you, um, without asking. 
being appreciative of the people who want to stay in your life long enough to share spaces with you. Um, and I understand loneliness because humans, the human condition supports that we are very communal animals, that we require that all of the time to feel, to feel. Um, but do not confuse that with the necessity that someone else is your other half. You are already whole, and you are already capable of giving yourself everything you could ever need or want. And the mentality is what's different there. I'm not saying don't love people. I'm saying love yourself first. Love yourself entirely. Belong to yourself. And do not forget that you are complete regardless if other people are present. That might be a very ace thing. But it's also a very human thing to acknowledge that you are whole. Even with your flaws, you are whole. And to be symbiotic to another human being is also means to be trapped forever in something you might change your mind about later. I'm not just talking about marriage. I'm talking about commitments in general. And the need to be touched and the need to be wanted and socialized with and no longer feeling alone. Those are no, no, none of those things are things that you should have to sacrifice for to another human being to be half of you, to make space for that person to hold you down and give you limitations because you are a part of them. And that is different than accommodations for somebody that you love and care about that has granted boundaries. But if the limitations start boxing you in, that is different. And it is always supported by the weight and the responsibility of being 50% of a unit, as opposed to being 100% yourself, adjacent to another person that is 100%. I'd rather die alone than live with someone who hurt me. Mm -hmm. I would rather be alone forever than experience somebody who makes me feel alone and without a purpose. Especially without a purpose. The inability to travel. The inability to dream the inability to express myself in artistic ways. Somebody tried to pressure me into being 50% of a human being. And I considered it a hellscape. I didn't know how to get out of. So that being said, let's actually delve into a real hellscape where shit isn't stupid. Let's look at this tome real quick here. Cool. Let's do that. Leave it to gray to get real dark. I would like to be treated like a wasp killed without hesitation. <laughs> Ignis. <laughs> I hope it's okay that I'm laughing at death. <sighs> Ain't it funny how the ones who make you feel at home are also the ones who make you feel unbearably alone? Front, yeah. Yes, indeed. Gosh. I don't mean to fangirl because she's like <laughs> one of my friends. Um, shout out to May too, Will, if you could, since we can do that. She's been getting all through a lot. Um, I hope that she does a music performance that you guys can see of the empty chair. Because everybody knows that my favorite song is like they all do. Um, 
because it burns and it's got a lot of truth to it. And I've, I've definitely felt that. And a lot of people can identify with that one. Definitely empty chair or empty, empty seat, something like, I think it's empty seat. It's like, it's like not being good enough. Like, am I good enough yet? Am I strong enough yet? Did I do it all? Like, at what point? At what point <sighs> am I done with proving myself to people who, like, don't even care? Um, very, very identifiable music, and I hope that she, you know, she can bring music back um, I know that she's taking sort of a hiatus on it, but man, I love her songs. It was, I was so lucky to like be there in person at Kalamazoo, um, and, and witness her on the guitar and the keyboard, like just rocking on stage. And her panel was so fucking funny. Oh my gosh. I was like covering my mouth and trying not to breathe into the camera because I was laughing so much. <laughs> and she said that the, the footage that she got, from like the people, it was like only her mic, so she couldn't hear anyone laughing. But then we watched the, <laughs> we watched it back, and she was like, "Oh, thank God, people were laughing because I was just going for the bits, you know." She, that was like mostly improvised, like it was quasi improvised. Um, she did such a good job, <laughs> and it was so cool to, to see people with autographs and stuff, uh, of people wanting to get like special photo ops and and stuff. That shit was cool. <sighs> That's valid, Ignis. You know, sometimes people just need to do their own thing and fucking sleep and stop proving yourself. And blah, just take a break and live. Be alive. Breathe, you know? Breathe it in. Breathe it the fuck in. I want that to be my mantra. Just breathe it in. Because I say that to myself all the time. If you can breathe through it, if you can breathe through it, I probably just gave away my location. If you want to come up, Banshee, you have to jump. I heard a whoosh. I'm not sure who that is. I haven't been up against a Chucky yet. You know, I should start fucking playing Ripley. I, I keep forgetting I have her now. But Silent Hill. Oh, shit. It's the Wraith. Fuck. Oh, happy to hear it. Oh, fuck. I just stabbed myself. I'm, like, trying to read chat at the same time. And you guys write a little bit more verbose than um, PPD allows to answer. Not really a problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, you know, the fuck what? Can anybody just play this game the way that it's supposed to be played? I'm going to lose my fucking mind temporarily. Yeah. All I want to do is close out with a decent game. And guys, it's going to be the sign. If I try to load in this last fucking time and the same thing happens, I bet, I bet, um, the killer disconnected because we weren't a challenge. That's my assumption. Being at the music show was an emotional experience. Kind of emotions was so happy to be there. Proud to see her succeeding. Yeah, I know. Everybody loved her there. Everybody, every fucking buddy loved her there. 
That's asking too much, Gray. Yeah, I fucking know. I suddenly want to play Monopoly. What, because this game's so frustrating? A toolbox. I, I don't even have a toolbox. Helldivers 2. Man, uh, just mm, this is so much different than I was expecting. Like, I was thinking, like, sassy fun times with my favorite killers, but like, what the fuck is this? And man, I couldn't even imagine toxic survivors. To like disconnect when their killer doesn't know what they're doing. It's like, okay, yeah, they gotta learn somehow. I had some good I had some good killer matches. Maybe you know what? If I disconnect, maybe I'll try to do a killer run before I raid Vaughn. If he lasts. Maybe that's what we'll fucking do. Angry, sassy, gray. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, pretty edgy tonight. I don't know. It's like sometimes there's like fun moody gray, but this is like, this is like bitch boss gray. <laughs> Nobody laughed at that. How dare you not laugh? Boss bitch. Psh. What did everybody think of the the idea of the oh my god the fucking huntress? Okay, Gray, it's okay, Gray. Oh. Maybe if I lead her away. I really love the artist map. Nobody likes to come here, but I love all the drippy. All the drip, you know? Laugh, bitches. <laughs> I love that. But yes, the, the dark divine coterie. To be in a coterie, that would usually be like a small gaggle of people, relatively... Most of the time, sort of like a coven. But I was like, hmm. It doesn't have to have a name. It could just be like the Discord. <laughs> Thanks, Tucker. Hmm. Maybe we should find one up above. Is no up top gens. That's unfortunate. The artist is just so great. Her like the design of her environment and her person. Her design is great. The dark divine descent, the descenders. Because you all are being slowly damned the more you watch. Just kidding. Everybody's hiding in here. And that gen is done. Shh. 
Shut up, Cheryl. Hmm. Well, there's literally nothing in here of use. We could try to look back here. Just don't leave footprints. Gonna flip the bird as they walk backwards into hell. Oh my gosh. I love your spirit, Ignis. It's so spiteful. Oh, she can see me, can't she? Uh. Oh, God. All right. Oh, shit. Well, glowing eyes are interesting. I can dig it. You're all right. I'm already going to. You're an apostate, huh? Hmm. You feed on spite. Hmm. Oh, and I can't heal. Yeah. You're not going to heal me? <laughs> oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Where are all the gens? Oh, thank you. So nice. I like the drove. Interesting. Well, here's, I thought about the unkindness, but that doesn't sound very nice without the context of the fact that that is a gaggle of ravens. It's a grouping of ravens. Oh. oh, come on. That was good. That was good. Uh, my delegates. <laughs> Comrades. Ah, <sighs> a 
pity. Ugh. <sighs> Notifications on time. Yeah, well. Hmm. What do you guys say? Do we raid Vaughn or do I do a killer run? Uh. <laughs> At least it was entertaining. The entire internet is slow today. Mm. I actually said everything was reconnecting. I'm going to see. We've got Queen of Vikings. Or we've got Vaughn. And Vaughn has actually. I thought he was going to be doing Dead by Daylight. But he's running Resident Evil 5 right now. And that sounds great. Serve cunt. Drink blood. Yeah, you know what? My spoons have probably run out after that amount of bullshit. Um, I'll bring you guys killer next time. Um, and depending on whether or not I'm stubborn enough to come back to this, I don't know when next time is for that because we've got recording to do for Carmilla. Uh, I've got the YouTube uploads so that you guys have uh, VODs available that are no longer visible in case you wanted to go back to them or you haven't seen them before. So there's plenty of content available or will be available this weekend. And then Sunday, Sunday's a roulette of whatever I'm feeling, but I'm likely either going to be continuing control or working on the Discord. So if those things fit your fancy, I will see you guys on Sunday, tentatively. Um, and we are going to raid into Vaughn. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for enjoying a faceless me. Um, and, uh, as, you know, enjoying some of the artwork that Vaughn Necros is capable of. We are going to raid into him um, and uh, say hello for me. Other than that, I'm going to drink water and eat some shrimp. Good night.